Is it true that people with psychiatric conditions or disorders are more likely to be sleep deprived? How does this happen? Experiments show that sleep deprivation affects mood, and a miserable mood can lead to sleep deprivation. To conquer this brutal cycle, scientists and sleep experts advise that teenagers and youth should prioritize sleep and have healthy sleeping habits. They should keep their sleeping cycle consistent on both school nights and weekends. Sleep deprivation affects around 50 to 80 percent of people with psychiatric conditions. Clinicians treating patients with psychiatric disorders also find that most of them suffer from insomnia and other sleep conditions. There are more than 70 types of sleep disorders, a common one being obstructive sleep apnea, which is disordered and pauses in breathing, which may then cause multiple awakenings during the night. Some other sleep disorder includes various movement syndromes, which are unpleasant sensations that prompt night fidgeting, as well as narcolepsy, which is falling asleep suddenly with no control of it even during the day. In fact, 90% of people suffering from insomnia have other health conditions such as these as well. Research shows that sleep problems may raise the risk for insomnia, as well as even directly contribute to the development of some psychiatric disorders. Research also leads to the belief that treating the sleep disorder may also help diminish symptoms of a co-occurring mental health problem. In spite of the fact that the relationship between sleep and mental health is not yet fully known and comprehended, neuroimaging and neurochemistry studies show that good quality sleep can actually enrich mental and emotional resilience, while sleep disruptions allow negative thinking and emotional vulnerability. Neuroimaging is producing images of our nervous system using magnetic resonance imaging and computerized tomography. Neurochemistry are the processes occurring in our nervous system. So why sleep? Studies show that REM sleep not only enhances learning and memory, it also contributes to emotional health in many different ways. Although sleep specialists are still trying to understand all the mechanisms, they have discovered that sleep disruption which affects levels of neurotransmitters and stress hormones wrecks havoc in the brain, hindering thinking and emotional regulation. In this way, insomnia may amplify the effects of psychiatric disorders and vice versa. According to research, sleep and our emotions are very closely connected. In fact, insufficient sleep can result in increased levels of stress and irritability. To the contrary, sufficient sleep can enhance our well-being and increase our concentration. Sleep deprivation can also lead to a person being short-tempered, irritable, and more vulnerable to stress. However, the problem of minor mood changes can often return back to normal after sleep of good quality. Many studies have shown that even slight sleep deprivation can have a significant impact and effect on mood. Researchers from the University of Pennsylvania have found that test subjects who were only allowed 4.5 hours of sleep each night for a week have reported to be more stressed, angry, sad, and mentally exhausted. However, when these subjects resumed back to their normal sleep routine of adequate sleep, they reported to have a substantial improvement in mood. Not only is emotions linked to sleep, but sleep is also linked to emotions. Stress can also affect sleep by making the body more awake and alert. Research shows that individuals who suffer from stress or have abnormally exaggerated responses to stress tend to face more problems during sleep. In conclusion, chronic sleep loss does not only cause changes in moods and emotions, but it can also lead to psychiatric disorders. It may even cause stress and anxiety. However, a simple solution to prevent dramatic mood changes can be to have good quality sleep whenever possible.